Okay, this is what I recommend you get from the oldest bakery in Paris. Now you're gonna be tempted with a lot of great patisserie, but I would go with this right here, the Baba Rum with Chanty cream that has been their specialty for almost 300 years. Good morning, guys. I am in Paris right now. I wanna have the full French food experience. And what is the best place to get these kind of recommendations? TikTok. I went on my TikTok and I typed in Paris and these are the most hyped food places from TikTok. This is not only for tourists, this is from people who actually live in Paris. So the expectations, I mean, this is, I would say the greatest city in the world for food. The most amazing food places in Paris from TikTok. That's all you need to know. One of these baba, uh, the little ones. Yeah. Chanty, I think, yeah. You know what that is? Lemon. Lemon, orange, and ginger. Can I get one of those in Paul? One? One of the tart citron. You can come to a bakery in Paris and I'll get a baguette. I have no idea what this is. This is in French. It's called Blanc de Volaille Avocat. Avocado or something. Do you want to? Uh, yes, please. I think I might have bought too much stuff, but. 39 euros. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, this is literally like, I've never bought so much stuff from a bakery. Kind of hard to go to a bakery and get something that is this heavy. Also, we need to find somewhere to sit down and eat. We were supposed to go in for one specific cake, which it's somewhere in here, and I ended up buying all of this. Because this is gonna be like my breakfast slash lunch. I kinda wanted to get um, something savory as well. I've got presents for my dog sitter, so that's nice. I could not come to Paris and not try a pen au chocolat. Apparently there's a huge debate here, whether it's a pen au chocolat or... Someone from France probably knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Oh my god. It's so crunchy on the outside and then so buttery and nice inside. I can't even, I don't have the vocabulary to explain to you how insane this is. And we haven't even tried the thing that we came here for, which is that little cake. That's gonna be my dessert after dessert. I'm so glad I bought this, this is insane. I also got a croissant, I don't know. Why? I think this is the one that we came here for. This is the one that we saw on TikTok. Um, this is... Oh, no, that's not the one. This is the reason why we came here for our breakfast lunch situation. Holy... Oh my god, imagine if I dropped that. I would never forgive myself. It's kind of like... Oh, now I'm covered in syrup. <laughs> It's kind of like shaped like a mushroom. I don't know what's on the inside. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a sweet bread. I did not expect that. <laughs> I mean, it's called baba rum. Wow. I usually don't like things that are flavored um, with alcohol. The actual pastry is so good that this is controversial opinion. I prefer the pan chocolate. Sorry, TikTok. You have to really like alcohol for this. This cream on top. I don't know what they put in this. It's so good. I want to move on to something savory. Oh. So it's chicken, I think. Avocado chicken and cream cheese. This is so scary because I don't want to spill it. Isn't that the most well-made sandwich that you guys have ever seen? This is so good. When you think of coming to Paris, this is exactly what I expected. Just me sitting in a park, in a bench somewhere with a baguette that is bigger than my face. Honestly, I know it's such a cliche to come to Paris and get a baguette. Sometimes the cliche exists for a reason. This is the reason. It's a delicious, great reason. It's like a lot though, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is how much I ate from it. It will be finished eventually. I have other things to show you. This is a lemon ginger tart. This bakery is known for this. I am going to horrify the whole of France by eating this with my hands. Oh. 
This tastes mostly of ginger. It's really interesting, but I'm not getting any lemon from it. I don't know exactly what's in this. Honestly, I can only taste ginger. I think the best thing was honestly the penne chocolate, but that's just my opinion. A great recommendation from TikTok though. Sure. Do you want advice? Uh, like, yeah. Do it everything. Like you have no restriction, you know? No, no restriction. No, okay. the, the dig man is really cool. It's like a five chip. This one actually. Here we've got the pizzas that we got. So I tried to get one of the ones that the girl ordered on the TikTok video that I shown you guys. Oh, I'm about to get sold off. No, maybe not. The other one was actually the recommendation from the guy who was working there. I think it might have been the owner. It was really nice. This is the one from Tick. Pistachio. If they come say anything, I'll just offer them a slice of pizza. It's pistachio, ham, and is it green? Sour cream, ham. Oh, this is the dessert one. This looks so good. It does smell of alcohol. I think a lot of the sweet desserts here have alcohol in them, which, you know, it's one of those things you either love it or you don't. I think this is gonna be my favorite one. This is walnuts and like a camembert kind of cheese. Is this camembert or blue cheese? So it's camembert, blue cheese. Once again, I usually don't like blue cheese. When I'm here, I like everything. I'm gonna go for the pistachio one first. Wait, I need to show you guys. It looks pretty good. And look at the back. It's like real bread. I dropped one of these little ham nuggets. It is so good. So let's get a full slice. Oh my God. This is so, so good. Honestly, these toppings are incredible. Pistachio and pizza is gonna be my new favorite thing. I can't wait to drop that casual in conversation. My favorite pizza topping is pistachio. I feel like that's really gonna make me sound like a more interesting person than I actually am. So thank you, Paris. Oh boy, secure this coming. It's more bread than cheese in a good way. When you go to a different place that is not where you live, it's kind of difficult to be critical of foods, but I promise you, I'm not just being nice because it's like different or whatever. This combination of ingredients is not even something that I would personally choose. Like I wouldn't pick these ingredients. However, this is like a 10 out of 10, like a solid 10 out of 10. For me, honestly, I wish there was a little bit more of this ham, like, I don't know what's in it, but it's, it's saying things to me. Now I'm gonna go for the, okay, I'm gonna try to pick one with less blue cheese. Oh, it's called Parmesan as well. Guys, sorry for the motorcycles. <sighs> Tell me you're in Europe without telling me you're in Europe. I would never pick walnuts in pizza. So this is a true test and also blue cheese. No words, this is so good. The combination of cheeses, I think it's Parmesan, Camembert, blue cheese and walnuts. This alone, and then topped with this, I could be wrong, this might not be sourdough, but I think it is, it tastes like sourdough. This one kind of doesn't have any cheese. Now let me put some more of this cheese on top. The smell of this one is a little aggressive for me. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I wonder if it's Nutella on top or if it's just any other chocolate spread. The thing is it doesn't smell like Nutella. This is so addictive. Like, I would eat this whole thing in like 10 minutes. It's the crispiness of the bread that really makes this. Sometimes when you eat one of these like pizzas, especially the sweet ones, it's too much. Like I never, I almost never think it's like, it looks better than it tastes. This one tastes better than it looks and it tastes better than it smells for sure. Cause it's like a confusing smell. Sourdough, chocolate, pistachio. This is so, so good.
It seems like this video might end up being with everything 10 out of 10. By the way, I'm taking all of this with me. I'm allowed to take endless amounts of food on the train, so I'm taking all of this in the train with me. I don't even know if I can put this on video, if I'm gonna have to pixelate this, but it's it's what we're about to have. I love, I love French food. I think I'm gonna have the love is love. Love is love, yeah. Well, these names are funny. <laughs> and then, um... Love is love, Kiket. So one is a Kiket and the other one is a... Fufu. Fufu? Uh-huh. I might have one of the good morning one. Good morning? I think that's everything. That's, yeah. So this is our sweet option. So I'm waiting on the savory option. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've probably seen this. Oh man, the jokes are endless. But you've probably seen this in your TikTok feed. You've probably seen it in other places as well. It's like a pancake shaped, like um intimate areas. I would say the P and the V word, but I'm so scared that YouTube is gonna take down my YouTube channel if I do. So I got a savory one and I got a sweet one. So the sweet one, I picked the rainbow one because it just looked the coolest. And then I picked a savory one with bacon and avocado, just, you know, balance. I'm totally okay with eating this um, in public. If you're watching this, this might just be a giant pixel. Ooh. It's very doughy. It's really good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It is so much Nutella on the inside. It's honestly kind of everything. But the best part, and this is so random, is the actual the doughy part. A very good sponge cake. You'd think this is really gross, the icing or whatever it is on the outside, but it isn't. It tastes like white chocolate vanilla i was disappointed that they didn't cover it like in front of me in some of the tiktok videos you could see them making it but they were like mm -mm, we know you want to film that and we're not giving it to you for that reason i feel like i didn't get the full experience that i could have had we're gonna try the other one but it's towards an eight out of ten just for the reason that they didn't make this in front of me and i love a good experience the savory one it's also very it's also very soft it's really weird but it smells kind of weird <laughs> and it's got an edible flower on it which we love mm. this bacon mm -mm. it's not cooked so it's got all the fat on it this is very much not cooked like i'm gonna remove all the bacon from my viewboard okay it's better now i just didn't like the bacon but the egg is kind of perfect For me, the winner, this one. It just works better as a sweet item. The other one almost tasted raw to me, which is weird, but the actual food items, I would give them a good nine out of 10. But overall, because they didn't make it in front of me, and to me, this is important, and it's just my opinion. You guys can disagree. I know it's a lot of work to have to make the food items in front of the people. When you're being a tourist, this is the kind of things that you that you want and that you're paying for. My P word is leaking, so I'm gonna have to finish eating this. But officially, this one is an eight out of 10.
there are two options. Yeah. You can take them. You can take those piece by piece if you want to. Uh -huh. We also like proposed boxes if you are interested. Uh, how many is in the box? Three, three type of boxes. Five pieces, 19 euro. Eight pieces, 29. Or 12 pieces, 40 euro. Uh, I'll get a smaller the smaller one. The smaller one. Do you have the strawberry twilight with grandma? No, unfortunately uh, we don't. Well, the reason why is because like, this is not like anymore the, the, the season of the fruits. Work right here in the laboratory with like um, fruits from like, the perfect season and perfect timing. It makes sense, so we don't have it anymore, I'm sorry. Which ones do you recommend? The best sellers are chocolate caramel classic. I personally got a sweet tooth with like a straw, the, the raspberry. Okay. Caramel chocolate to be honest. Just the, uh, whatever you think. You want me to make a mix? Yeah. Do you sell the, the candle? Yes, yeah. for sure. We okay. let me let me just show you. This one is the Madeleine, this one is the marble. Oh wow. I'm waiting to get on my train, so this is like in the waiting area kind of thing. But this was the last thing that we got here in Paris. I was really excited to go to this place because that strawberry tartlet, I don't know, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't know if I got this on camera, but the guy was kind of explaining to me that they can only make the strawberry tartlet when there are strawberries available. So it's winter right now, so that obviously kind of made sense. I did get the Madeleines. They had these candles with the scents of the baked products. First of all, genius. So this is a marble cake scented candle. This smells better than a marble cake and that's saying a lot. I don't know if anyone's interested, but I'm giving you a review. This is suddenly becoming a candle review channel. I really like it. It's really cool. It smells like marble cake, a little bit of coconut and lemon. But most importantly, we got... Oh, this is gonna be so good. I love the packaging of everything. I mean, we paid a lot for this. I think this box is 19 euros, but it tastes good as well. Because this was the last thing that we bought in Paris before I got on my train to go home. I wanted to find a TikTok that was about something more premium, more like patisserie, but like as good as it gets. Basically as bougie as it gets. Whenever I go to a place and there's different flavors for things, I always ask the people who work there to sort of make the decision for me because they work there, they know the best flavors. And also I'm usually too overwhelmed to make the decisions. This is like patisserie wrapped like a, like a new iPhone. I honestly don't ask me what the flavors are because I generally have no idea. I'm gonna try one of the sponge cakey ones and one of the chocolate one for this. I have no idea what this is. Maybe salted caramel? It's kind of like a mystery box. I have no idea what this is. I think this one, what color is this? Is this pink? Red? Ooh, I think this might be the raspberry. Does that make sense? Okay, so I think this is the raspberry one. So I'm gonna just try this one before we go to the chocolate one. Yes, it is the one that I'm looking at as well. Oh my God. I don't even like fruity stuff normally. This is like an out of body experience. The winner so far for me, the raspberry one. I don't even have to think about it. I think we're gonna go for the chocolate one. I made you guys wait. I waited myself for this. Like this is covered in chocolate. It looks so good. I'm getting really excited as I eat these. I'm getting progressively louder. I'm gonna be kicked out. Well. This is the greatest chocolate anything. This is a 20 out of 10. Like you're probably not gonna be able to hear it, but when I bite into it, the chocolate is so crunchy on the outside. And then inside is like the softest, like spongiest chocolate cake. This beats all the other ones. If you go there, the chocolate one. I'm like scared of biting into it and not. It's gonna end soon. It's like three bites away from not existing. I wish you could hear the crunch of the chocolate when I bite into it. No. It's like triple chocolate, basically. The outside, the sponge, and the center. It's almost like a chocolate butter in the center. It tastes like butter, but like with cocoa powder in it. My official rating for this one, 10 out of 10. But really, this is a 20 out of 10. I'm gonna go back home now, but I can only hope that I did justice to this video. I don't want people, people in France to feel like I've made a terrible selection of places. I was kind of guided by TikTok, but I kind of, you know, I picked the TikToks myself, so it gave me exactly what I needed. 
and expected from Paris and I think that's what truly really matters. So if you enjoyed this, I had the idea of maybe doing this in different cities. I kind of done London already, so if you've missed that, that's probably somewhere. So now we've done Paris, so I don't know what's next. Is this something, should this be a series? That's my question. You know what to do before you go? Also, don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on only if you enjoy my videos. If you didn't enjoy it, we're here for the snacks. It's not all that serious. Bye-bye.